For more on this issue and the Pope's visit to Africa, we are joined by Father Patrick Ryan, Vice President for University Mission and Ministry at Fordham University here in New York. He also spent 26 years working as a teacher and academic administrator in West Africa. Father, thank you for being with us. Thank you. The Pope has made some news regarding the use of uh, condoms, their distribution, and how he believes it does not resolve the HIV problem. Um, what is the reasoning here, and, and can abstinence really be effective? Well, I think we should not underestimate the possibility for African people to, uh, in fact, govern their own sexuality and be able to uh, handle uh, uh, the problem of HIV uh, infection uh, by, by means of, first of all, abstinence, especially among the young. Uh, there are problems when married people, when one partner in a marriage is HIV positive and the other is not, and that has a different solution. Uh, and, uh, but the, uh, it's important, I think, to realize that in a country like Uganda, they have, uh, in fact, promoted uh, abstinence first uh, before the use of birth control or uh, uh, condom use. And uh, it seems to have worked, although Uganda had a very high rate of infection before, it has reduced dramatically. I don't want to dwell on it, but, you know, condoms have been seen by many medical organizations as a great tool in the battle against yeah. AIDS. Well, they have uh, especially... Uh, presume that condoms would work the same way in the hot tropics as they would work here. But also I think it, it uh, coarsens society if that's uh, what an exter external agency like the WHO uh, seems to feel that they have the missionary uh, uh, mi uh, desire to impose uh, as, uh, on the African people. I think African people need to be consult with, consulted on that much more. Well, I think they would, they would say that they are out there to try to stop a very deadly disease, mm -hmm. not impose a, an ill will. Um, what is the significance? Uh, it's certainly, the, 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 the continent of Africa is a huge opportunity for the Catholic Church. So the significance of the Pope's visit to Africa? Well, I, he has not been to Africa as Pope before, and uh, certainly the rate of growth of Christianity in general, and of Catholicism in particular, in Africa over the last hundred years has been spectacular. Uh, there has been a, a tremendous growth from uh, perhaps 1.9 million uh, Catholics a century ago to uh, about 145 million today. So there's been a tremendous growth over the last uh, century. And I think he's particularly concerned in visiting Cameroon to be in a country that is both Francophone and Anglophone because of its history, mm -hmm. and also in Angola, which is a uh, Lusophone or Portuguese speaking country, which started its independent history in the mid 70s as a very uh, leftist, in fact, communist country, but has uh, changed since then. So I think he is interested in visiting two uh, different countries and two countries that have uh, a considerable Catholic population. Father Patrick Ryan, a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you. Thank you very much.